Morning everybody. Well actually I'm lying to you. It's the afternoon because I've been busy doing a bit of homework and catching up with you all. Hello there. Um, where to start today? Sunshine, happiness, always good thing. Hope you're all well out there. I'm going to stand and do this today because actually I have to demo things. Oh. And actually, I could do with Paul being here because I could I, a few close-ups would be handy, but it's not happening. So I'm going to do me damn desk to explain what I want us to do for the next block. Anyway, so quick catch up on yesterday's. Look, I've done my own work. It's got flowery things on it. It's all been stitched down into place. Bit of detail put in on the, on the flowers. So that's my block number five all ready to go. So that's on there. Block six. Now, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to have a good try. <coughs> now, as I was saying yesterday, my mate Andy from Crafty UK, do, 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 um, you may well know him on Hachanda. Yeah, he makes templates and does all sorts of lovely stuff uh, around the shows. Everybody's sort of getting to know. He's, he's an absolute darling, I have to say. Anyway, he's my mate and he makes templates for me of my own design when I'm doing weird poppies and all sorts of stuff. And a lot of you around the shows will know that I have my own range of templates. Well, what I'm going to do today is use and demonstrate one of his general ones because I think it will make a nice block within what we're going to do. Now, how can I how can I describe this? It's hexagons without being over papers. It's not English piecing. Yeah, English paper. EEP, they call it or something, don't they? EPP, English paper piecing. That's the one. Um, I don't, me and these acronyms, we don't get on that well. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to do this by machine. You can do it by hand, quite obviously. I'll, I'll get that in there quickly. Because I don't want anybody being put off. If you're, if you're wanting to make your quilt by hand, please do so. All right, so we've got, I've got one of his templates. You don't technically need one, but it can half make life easier. Right, so here we go. It's like an hexagon. I don't know if you can see that. Hexagon within a hexagon. So we get two pieces, right? So this has got your seam allowance included. Now, technically, you could do this with any hexagon, so... If you've got one indoors, get one out and have a play. Right, so what I'm doing first is I'm cutting round. Says she. Look, I've been busy. Cutting round the little one. All right, I've decided I'm going to put my tie colours in the middle. Okay. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to put some stuff all around the outside edge. And make it look a little bit like, I want to say like a log cabin with a hexagon in the middle of it. And I suppose technically you could just go on and on and on. That could be fun, couldn't it? If we started with that, and then what we do is we trim it with that, and then we put another round on, and then we could trim it again, and we could keep going. That could be really nice. But anyway, we're not going to do that today. We're just going to do some basic ones. Um, I always want to say this. Here's one I prepared earlier. Right, over it comes to you there, folks. Can you see this particular hexagon here? It's got the white in the centre and, and all sorts of bits around it. And there's another one there. Dooby dooby doo. In this particular quilt top that I've started, um, I'm putting big hexagons in as well um, as these lovely little rounded ones. I think they're quite good. Um, that's another one that I will get to one day. Now, how does this work? <coughs> Excuse me, silly cough. It's all right. I've not got the logie as far as I know. Um, so you get your, your, your hexagon, you cut yourself six bits of strip. So they're two and a half inches wide by four inches long. Okay, does that make sense? Um, I have found today that it's quite handy if you've got some odd bits of um, jelly roll type things in your, your stash or your scrap or whatever, because actually it makes it oh, just chop them off. It's good. I've decided to use six different colours around it. You could just do one. Do two, three, whatever you want, baby. But I've done six because I've got lots of scrap. So, in the centre is my tie, which is a hexagon. Right. Then I have got me six cut bits, okay, that's going to go around the outside edge. And it will land up like that in a minute. So how do I do this? 
first of all you get your first bit i'm coming over the table at you folks and you put one on the on the edge one of the edges and let it hang off a bit okay and then you're going to stitch across right so that's your first one in place and then you're going to open that and then i finger press it open um I, i'm yeah finger pressing okay so basically i've creased that seam open okay instead of having to go to the iron every two minutes i use my nails give it quite a bit of welly and crease them open but i have to say that i've kept the seams together like you would normally for patchwork so they've all gone one side <coughs> and away we go ready to go right so now one important point i'm thinking for mine is that i actually want all my colors in the same order so i'm going to put that in front of me so that i can see what, what i'm doing next because my next one i'm going to join across the green so hang on so if that's like that that's going to be oh yeah, hang on don't mix them up that's that lot there we go so it's this one next okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay them on top of there am i no i'm not going to lay them on top of it the I don't want that piece at all. I want that piece. There we go. So I'm going to lay them across there. Now, what I would say is do use pins. Oh, I've got no pins in my pin cushion. Why? No, I've not. Where's my pins gone? Oh. You lot stick them in there. Says she with loads of little threads attaching themselves. Put them in the bin. Right, okay. So do use pins. Now, can you see, that's the one that I've opened out. I've now pinned one across the top there that I will stitch, all right? I'm not going to do that because that will just do your resin and I'll be here forever. So what I would, I'm just going to pin that a little bit better. I just picked up several. What did I do with them? Ah, there we go. There we are. Right, so, okay, so we're going to imagine that I've machined across there and then that one folds over. And we finger that we finger press that one into place and then we'll attach the next one here machine it open it out machine it open it out machine it open it out and you'll get to the end one and you'll think that ain't gonna fit that's gonna look a mess how do i get around that because what you're going to try and do is put that one there all right and of course it's overlapping and doing horrible things so you'll have to undo a little bit of the stitching okay it's, mm, it's not called unpicking honestly we're undoing purposely so we just take out a couple of stitches between those two which will allow us to put that last one across machine it and then you'll be able to open the other side and, and machine that all right it will make sense honestly just try it so that's what we're doing there so if you've got hexagons that's all lovely and then what you could do is um work out and cut yourself around and that'll give you a nice hexagon finish but andy's little thing here is designed to to give you a bit of a twist going on all right so what we do is we put that one over the center of your block there okay well hopefully you can see all this going on Duty, duty, do. Then we get our rotary cutter always away from yourself. Now, I'm holding quite firmly. Firmly? That's the one, you know what I mean. And I'm going to do that and that. Now, at this point, if you've got one of them lovely rotating mats, they come in really handy. I've not got one here. It's over the other side of the cupboard and I didn't think about it. So I'm just going to carry on rotating as I go. Mind your fingers, whatever you do. Always away from yourself. That's slightly across, but certainly away from my body and my fingers. And I'm going to turn that bit round so we get the last two. Okay, and I'm going to do across there and across there. All right. So I've now got a real sweet little doofy hexagon thingy. And I'm going to do several of those, I think, and I'm going to join them together by machine. Now, 
when I get to the edges, what, what I am going to do, because I want it to stand out, is I'm going to put probably some of my big tie colour, some of my tie colours in as large hexagons next to them. All right. When I get to the edges, you, I've cut the large hexagon from the outside one. All right. So basically that one is that one and we'll, that I used for that. OK, so those will go together like that quite nicely ready to join and then when you get to the edge of your block because you don't necessarily want to waste fabric if you use this again and then cut them in half look you can put nice little straight square edges in straight square edges you know what i mean all right so half x's <clears throat> just to fill in where they're needed until you get your shape you're not going to have to make a lot of these in order to make your 12 inch block or don't forget 12 and a half because you need your seam allowance so it's not going to take a lot or a long time to do what you need to do for this one. As I say, it's a bit of fun. If you're really not up for that, what I would say is get yourself a hexagon, some large ones, <coughs> and we're going to join them by machine, which is not your normal way, is it? Normally we do everything by hand with hexagon. Um, but what we'll do is we'll start, okay, don't be afraid to use pins. There's this thing these days, isn't there? Oh, we don't need to use pins. We can just whack it through the something. <laughs> That's lovely. Um, very good if you're an absolute expert on your machine. I still use pins because I still mess up horrendously. So sort of, well, there we go. So we can do that. I've lost my pins again because they're, oh, they're in that one, aren't they? Let me get some more. There we go. Let's have some more pins here. So how I always do... Because I'm a bit weird. We all know that, do we now? Um, can you see? I've got a couple of pins in there. So I would start machining here. And then I've got one at a weird angle at the bottom. Or even straight in sometimes. Because as you're machining and you're going tinty, 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 through your machine, when you get to the end, it's quite often that it will spin off at an angle, even when you don't want it to. But if you've got a little pin at the bottom there, especially if you've got a long run going on, you're getting a bit blase. You know, this is all getting a bit. When you get to the bottom, you can hang on to that pin and it will keep it straight through your machine. Accuracy is that lovely word again, folks. All right. So it might be a case of let's just play putting some, some hexagons together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin that one out. Like OK, so if you were going to be machining this, that's those two lovely put together brilliant right so what we're going to do we're going to get a, a side piece okay and we're going to put that in there now when you're machining if you start and stop a quarter of an inch in from each end all right i'm just moving these pins because that's supposedly machining um you can open it you can put that in there put them right sides together and you're able to fold back that little bit out of the way and then you can machine that one there across there stopping quarter inch each end all right don't forget the stoppings oh my god these pins are flying everywhere today or is it having lethal pin moment there we go so then that will fold back and then you can fiddle it all around do to do to do that you can then machine the final edge across <coughs> more pins where's the pin i really should have practiced a bit better and thought about it haven't i but there we are never mind it's all good stuff so don't forget stop quarter of an inch to and from the ends if you go over it's not an issue because you just unpick a couple of stitches and then you can stitch that one all right so you're going to start getting your quilt coming together the thing with machining hexagons is you can only machine one little side at a time. There's probably someone out there will tell me that I'm talking rubbish and it's possible. But I only ever machine one little side at a time. And I tend to use quite big hexagons if I'm going to do them by machine. But um, it works. Do you know what? So that's cool. So you can have a nice hexagon quilt without too much effort. Right. Now I've probably bored the pants off you and told you all sorts of rubbish and quite possibly got it all wrong and confused you um questions on a postcard <laughs> i shouldn't say that way i'm gonna get my chair hold on a minute 
Right, so as I say, we're hexagoning. Hopefully, that's made sense. One side at a time. Big plain ones if you don't want to do fancy ones. Fancy ones, as I say, I've done that using Andy from Croft UK um, from his his little gizmo here called What the Hex. Now, I have got a whole stack of these. I don't know if you noticed this here. I've got a whole load of them. If anybody wants one, what I'm going to do, I've spoken to Andy about this and we're all quite happy with this. Um, gonna gonna sell these they're full i don't know if you can see that they are 14 pounds each but we're not going to charge postage we're just because i've got a post box i think i said this the other day literally outside our front gate so if anyone wants anyone uh, wants anyone oh if anybody wants one of these i have a supply i can pop them in the post to you without contaminating anybody with anything um and it can be on your way and you can have that next week to play with if you want if not as i say hexagons cut your own off you go all right um right yeah so that i think that's possibly like, oh what i should say oh cause what's the day what's the day saturday last week i was actually supposed to be teaching a retreat um obviously it didn't happen you saw me every day instead <coughs> this was part of the retreat we were going to do this as a class so the ladies that were, were, were due to go Hopefully you're all well. And some of you I know are watching this. These are not yours that I'm selling. It's okay. I still got yours in the cupboard. It's not a problem. Um, these are others that I, I just happen to have. Because I get quite a bit of Andy stuff. Um, you may well know Andy. Have I said this bit? Um, you, you'll know him from Hachanda. You'll see him on there quite often. And I believe this week he's been out in his back garden. All set up and playing with the Clarence brothers. Who were the, the teddy bears and that. Um so you'll know probably who i'm talking about in truth it's absolutely nuts when we all get together Iman is is joe she's lovely the packaging department all good all good right so that's our task i'm going to finish that one off today that i can show you it tomorrow and hopefully that will make a bit more sense i am more than happy to go back through that with everybody um if it's needed so if you've watched this and you think what the hell is she on this time leave me a little message over in the facebook group and i'll um reassess or you know give me a ring or whatever and we'll sort this out i'll give you a ring. message me okay i have to say that his templates come with a very good how to what to probably far better than me sat wittering at you but there we are <clears throat> so that's that that's our next block that's a bit different isn't it having said that also if you really 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 hate that whole idea english paper piece some hexagons that'll be good you'll get the same effect and they'll be lovely so that's where you get your hexagon on your bit of paper cut your paper hexagon shape do 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 so you've got your template <coughs> draw around on paper i tend to use um a slightly thicker paper that is more like a card now that's not actually solid it's like i want to say like a birthday card thickness okay and then i would draw around that cut him out and then i would pin that onto my fabric okay so onto my bit of fabric and then i'd cut that out plus a quarter of an inch so i've got a seam allowance all the way around and then i would tack that fabric over the card so it's literally going to be over the card all right so when you've done that you can then join them all together right sides together loads of little, 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 little stitchings join it together give it a very good iron take all the papers and the tacking out <coughs> or the tacking and the papers because otherwise we could have a bit of a mess going on um and then you'll have lots of lovely hexagon blocks going on okay so there we are there's two options there or a third option make any block you fancy that's always a good one don't forget your two tie coloured fabrics though. All right. So there we are. That's what the hex. And if you've managed to listen to that, you probably are thinking, what the hex? Yeah, sorry about that one. Mm. Um, okay, so what else have we got to say today? Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know if you've noticed. If any of you are actually over on my um, YouTube channel, that in itself sounds hysterical to me. 
<coughs> I have my own channel. How weird. Um, they sort of stopped the video and just put a frame up as the advertising bit for it. My God, did I pull some faces. At first, I was a bit horrified thinking people are going to hate this. Oh, my God, how awful is that as I'm doing this or I'm, I'm pulling faces everywhere. Um, but now I'm finding it a bit hysterical. Every day I, I upload my video and I wait then to see what god awful bit of a picture they're going to pick of me doing what. Um, I just think it's hysterical. I'm, I'm sure that somewhere along the way there's somewhere that I can actually pick which frame I want it to be. I don't want to know now because I just think this is real good fun. Um, I don't mind making an interview myself. I just think it's amusing. So anyway, so yeah, so I was just, yeah, I just found that hysterical last night when I really realised it. So we've done all that one. I'm told about the retreat, ladies, don't be panicking. I'm not selling yours. You've got yours all safe somewhere, don't worry. Um, post free, box of okay. Yeah. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Are they all all right? Is everybody okay? Have to say, I now know a couple of people that aren't so well um hopefully they're going to be very good though and all will be good further on down the line um but there we are they're not down in cornwall i have to say they're elsewhere in the world um but there we are so i'm sure it's getting a bit at home to all of us so i wish you all well please please ring a friend say hello send them a text message are they all okay loveliness all right so that's my serious bit for the day now what else do i need to show tom's in his basket up in the gods He's, he's got his prime spot, totally ignoring me, but all's good. Now, behind me, I will just tell you about this one. I'm being very careful today so that I don't do myself a mischief. This here is a dragonfly quilt. This was one of my mystery quilts for UK Quilters United. Um, absolute fabulous fun. I, I so enjoyed making this one, designing it and then than seeing everybody's done, that have done. Um, one of my absolute all time phrase, everything I've ever done. So there we are. I just thought I'd show you it today. It, it was in pile nearby. I thought oh, that will make a nice backdrop today. Patterns are available, obviously. Um, but yeah, all good, all good. Ah, there we are. I feel exhausted after all of that. And if you've managed to watch all of that, well done you. I'm very impressed. Um, as I say, any questions, do shout me back because that's probably a bit of a weird one today. Uh, but I think good fun. All right. So have a happy Saturday. Um, tomorrow's Sunday. Don't know what's happening Sunday. Oh, probably not a lot. And I'll be in here in the cupboard playing. Um, I hope to, to finish my sample. In fact, I'm going to sit and finish my sample in a minute. I've decided that's going to be done. <coughs> so that that block's finished so tomorrow will be um a recap how to what to where to and it should be a double snuggle day shouldn't it so the next block of the double snuggles um and we'll see what's going on with that is there anything else we need to say oh possibly not um over to youtube um please subscribe that's always good apparently um um have happiness smile i'm gonna come around and turn you all off be good Bye.